Hi, and uh, welcome to the uh, topography part of, of what realtors don't tell you. What we'd like to do today is to show you an example of a lot that has some extreme uh, falls in, in the ground, which, uh, as we explained uh, in the beginning, that that's one of the items that realtors don't tell you is when you go to purchase a lot and, and you see that the slope of the lot is very severe, um, that automatically should throw a flag into your mind that that's going to be more expensive to build upon. And uh, let me show you a little, a little reason why for that. Showing my arrow here, it, there's a, a little road that's coming through. And as you can see, in just a short amount of distance, this property drops 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, almost 32 feet from the, the main part uh, to the back of the lot. You know, obviously that will be a great lot for a walkout basement. Uh, or a walkout lot where you can have some some fun in in that lot because it, it drops so so quickly. Be aware again that uh, most likely that this lot has an offset where you can build your home barely on the uh, the flat surface, but then of course the rest of the home it will fall very very quickly. Uh, again, the reason why you're not told this is because that's something that uh, I think sometimes is assumed that uh, people know what they're buying because they, they've been on the property, they have looked at it, they see that it, it's good, but again, be aware that there could be uh, some, some large costs associated with this lot. Um, number one, you're you're going to have uh, an additional cost for maybe some exposed uh, structure that you weren't necessarily planning on. Uh, secondly, you'll have some added costs uh, for excavation if to to get a excavation company to go in and and to dig this hole and to make it a place suitable for a home. Of course, you will be paying large amount of money for that, as well as if you were to ever access the back of the lot uh, for any type of purpose um, with sidewalks or possibly a shed. You know, there's just a variety of things that this lot doesn't provide for you. And, and this is just one example of, of that. Uh, again, as, as I have worked in, in this field, as we have prepared subdivisions and have designed the water and the sewer for those, as well as have placed homes upon lots that have severe slopes, they have averaged that you could spend near, well, and, and I guess I'd be very careful in giving a number, but uh, you would spend thousands of dollars uh, for, for a lot that is like this that would cause uh, some additional excavation and additional bringing in fill uh, for the the floor and, and just a variety of issues that uh, just that you could be aware. Now obviously this lot would provide a lot of fun, uh, a great view. It would provide a uh, easy going waterfall, a natural waterfall that if you have the right system, you could pump that water back up the hill and it would be a continual fall. Just a lot of fun that could be done with this. But uh, just be aware that that's one of those uh, methods and hints that we sh have shared in this just to be aware of that uh, this is usually not shared by realtors uh, because they have sold the property and have uh, received their, their money uh, for their commission. And, and now you're trying to put a home and a cost estimate together uh, for the cost of this building. And, and at that time, uh, you find that uh, it's going to be much more expensive. Uh, again, uh, analyze the slope. Um, most, most areas uh, that if you are to build a subdivision, they require the topography to be completed prior. And so they would have that information that if you were to ask uh, the realtor or someone who has, has been uh, aware of this, that they would be able to provide you that information. Um, also, sometime with slopes or, or if you have heavy slopes, be aware of, uh, of course, rainfall and runoff and a variety of things like that. Um, but usually that's, that's not a severe case uh, because of the amount of, of uh, 
foliage and and uh, grasses that are that are contained in the different areas. Again, all depending upon where you live. This is the uh, section for topography. Again, we appreciate you uh, purchasing this and hope you enjoy it. Thank you and have a good day.